Hey guys, John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com here with a hardware overview for you of the T-Mobile G1. I've been using this device incognito, I suppose, for the past three days. T-Mobile was nice enough to send me one to demo, although the one they did send me was not brand new. It still had the previous testers' information on it, but we'll go ahead and let that pass. So here is the T-Mobile G1 run on Google's Android operating system and operating, of course, on the T-Mobile network with full 3G capabilities. Although the 3G bands are different than the bands AT&T uses in the US, so if you're able to unlock the phone, it won't work, 3G at least, with AT&T's network. So here's the front of the device. You'll notice a flush touch screen on the front, which is capacitive, meaning the touches are registered by electron transfer from your finger, similar to the touch screen on the iPhone. It's not a resistive touch screen, similar to most Windows mobile touch phones, which actually have a little bit of squishy feel, and that's because the touches are registered by two layers of film pushing together. So the T-Mobile G1 is capacitive, it's flush, it's made of glass, and it feels very solid in the hand. The front of the device has four hardware buttons on the front. You've got a send button, you've got a home button, you've got a back button, and an end button. In the middle you have a trackball, which is actually identical to the trackball used in the Pearl and the Curve and the rest of the Blackberries uh, that feature the trackball. On the left side of the device, you are greeted with a volume up and down rocker, which you can use to control the ring volume as well, and also the volume while you're in the call. And while we're holding the device sideways here, you'll notice it's got a bit of an outward slope to the bottom chin of the device. That's so when you're talking, the microphone is actually a little bit closer to your face. On the left side of the device, moving along, we've got a dedicated camera button operating the camera on the back. And I'll go over all the specs when I do a full review on it. I just wanted to give you guys a sense of what the phone actually looks like. And on the back, you get your with Google. So the phone is very interesting in the fact that there's not an on-screen keyboard uh, like most touchscreens are trending to nowadays. This one relies on a full slide-out QWERTY keyboard, which I'll go ahead and show you. And you notice that when it slides out, it's not a straight slide up or down. It actually slopes out to the side and comes back in. It's very neat, actually. See that again, goes out and then back in. Uh, the screen is very vibrant, um, color-wise, resolution-wise, it felt as nice as the iPhone. I know the resolution isn't quite as high, but it does look it and it does have a very nice feel and the colors do pop on it. I'll go ahead and close that. Overall, the phone does feel very solid in the hand. It does have a little bit of heft to it and a little bit of weight, um, but nothing that makes it feel overbearing and too big in your pocket. Uh, Size-wise, I'll give you guys a comparison to the trusty iPhone. I'll pull this down so you guys can see here, just at least hardware-wise. So here are the two phones side-by-side. Side. Turn them towards you. One next to another. We'll put the G1 on top of the iPhone. You can see it's not quite as wide. There's a little bit of room on the side. And thickness-wise, the G1 is noticeably thicker than the iPhone. Uh, the extra thickness, I believe, is due to the keyboard. The width of the keyboard itself is actually about the added thickness as compared to the iPhone. Now on the back of it, you can see the sliding path that it takes and the My Faves logo on the back. Now I only get this device for another few days, so I'm going to use it for a little bit more and then conduct my review. But overall, my experience has been very positive with the phone. I've enjoyed the operating system, I've enjoyed the hardware of the phone, um, but I'll get into all that when I do a more thorough review of it. So guys, this is John Rettinger demoing the T-Mobile G1. Be sure to check out the website at www.john4lakers.com. And if you want some exclusive content and sneak peeks, be sure to follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash john4lakers. And if you guys like the site and you want to contribute to it, hit the apply button on the right-hand side. And we're always looking to add some new writers and to help you guys get some exposure. Guys, John Rettinger. I'll put the links to all those things in the sidebar, which should be well, probably there. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.